Yo, what's up guys? Here's my bike. Here's my frame I've had for a few years. I'm feeling like upgrading. Gonna make some new frames for myself and some friends. Maybe sell a couple, we'll see. Who knows? Before I could get to that, I needed to pick up some new equipment. So I grabbed this JD Squared Model 3 2 bender. It's manual. I don't like manual, so I threw on this cheap Harbor Freight hydraulic ram. It's powered by my air compressor, it's easy to use, and I mounted it on my rolling workstation, so it's uh, easy to fit in the garage. I'll show you guys how I hooked all this up. All right, y'all, this is what we're working with. We've got the JD Squared model number three, two bender. It's the manual bender, the entry level bender. A couple hundred bucks, not so bad. These are two bolts, five eighths inches. This is a uh, central hydraulics, eight ton air manual round bottom jack, item number 94562. Pick this up at Harbor Freight for next to nothing. Uh, runs off the compressed air, so you can just hook this up to an air compressor. And lastly, we have this cup of coffee. Oh yes. Two bender mount, ram mount. This is the mounting point for the two bender. I just welded a flat piece of steel with two three quarter inch holes drilled in it into the corner of my welding table. Here's the frame base for the bender. This goes here, spaces the bender out just a little bit. This is the bottom support for the ram. Sure that there's a little bit of clearance down here because as this goes through its motions it's going to rotate just a little bit I mean this is more than it's going to rotate but it's nice to have this clearance just in case This lower set of holes I drilled out larger to receive 5 8 inch bolt. Okay, let's plug it into your favorite air compressor and give it a test. Okay, that's basically it. Maybe just throw your favorite set of dies in there, and you're good to go. When you bend, this thing does stuff. Take two. 